Hello everyone, I'm Shadok Tapesh. And hi guys, I'm Zarifa Adiba and we are from Afghanistan. Currently we are sitting at the American University of Central Asia. We're receiving the same scholarship from US Embassy Kabul like you do. And we are very excited to see you all very soon here. Now we'll show you our university. And a small tour of the campus. AUCA offers the preparatory program New Generation Academy, 14 undergraduate majors and 4 graduate programs. Our scholarship covers one year of preparatory program and four years of bachelor studies on chosen department. AUCA maintains partnerships with a number of universities and organizations worldwide. Our Afghan students also actively participate in exchange programs to Europe, Asia, and CIS study abroad for a semester or a year. Also, our students participate in various conferences abroad in European and other countries. So this is our university. The first place you'll see is the so-called forum, which is known to all AUCA students and staff. The forum usually hosts various big events. We celebrate here Diversity Week, New Year, Halloween, Orientation Week, and etc. Soon after your arrival, we'll have Afghan Culture Day. For this, we have all the necessary equipment. The professional supplies allow organizing concerts, movie screenings, and the conferences of all high levels. But usually, students gather and spend their time on the forum. Someone listens to music, dances, and watches movies, or etc. Let's go to our department, NGA. New Generation Academy offers an intensive one-year program for you to enhance your knowledge. NGA provides English language, college mathematics, as well as Russian and Kyrgyz languages. For our scholarship program, NGA is obligatory because it helps us to understand the American format of education and to overcome the cultural shock. It's very interesting. Faculty and staff are friendly. They organize clubs, events, and other activities. Now, let's go to our cafeteria, Kitchenette. You can eat here several times a day, and sometimes they have special offers. KitchenAid holds a cashless payment system, so for each student, there is a card issued from our partner bank. The card is used for receiving stipends, payments in the KitchenAid, and as a pass to AUCA. At the same time, we have coffee shops on every floor to quickly drink coffee, eat sandwiches or soups, or enjoy sitting with friends. See those red balconies? It's all cafeterias. As you can see, there are many glass doors and large windows in our building. This is not to disturb anyone and for the class transparency. Also, such construction saves electricity as we use less electric lamps and have a large access to daylight. Saving resources and being ecologically friendly is one of the university's goals and missions. The classes are spacey, the desks are mobile. All of them are for moving around the class freely and for interactive games. Except of the academic life, at AUCA you'll have a lot of exciting experiences. If you have questions and concerns, visit your coordinator. Here is the International Students' Office. Here you can find coordinator of Afghan students. It's Ekaterina and her assistant, Perizat. She helps with academic, non-academic issues, but if you want to just talk to her, then welcome. Let's imagine you have any problems. Come here and discuss. Don't be shy, there are no stupid questions. At Outsa, we also have a doctor for Afghan students. And if you are sick, you have to visit her. The doctor will prescribe you medications, make an appointment with the clinics, and accompany you if you need emergency assistance. Most of the time, students are feeling homesick, stressed, or depressed. And for that, Dr. Diana is all the time in this room. Uh, for 16, you can visit her anytime that you need to talk to somebody. And uh, I think I cannot go inside because there's a student talking to her. Here is our gym. There is equipment, everything necessary to play sports. We have our women's basketball team. Our girls actively participate in competitions and win medals. Our graduates, Nozanin Wali and Zarlash Haidari, organized a friendly match a couple of years ago here with the national team of Afghanistan. We have soccer field outside. 
students play soccer and participate in competitions. On the third floor, we have a large library. The library has a lot of collections of books and is subscribed to many academic databases like JSTOR. Students can come to the library at almost any time and study. Only rules. Be careful with the books, the equipment, and keep silent. We have an inspirational section here organized by our Afghan student, Shugufa Jamal. Here you can find interesting inspirational books in English, Dari, and Russian languages. And here we have the academic department. Here is the place where teachers work every day. On each floor, you may find academic department by directions, social science, economics, and so on. In the basement, there is a shower room. Further, you can see the fitness studio, where students do yoga, dancing, shaping, fitness, and workout. The university is a beautiful place, close to the mountains, and they are here super fresh. Most of our students don't go home after classes. Students may stay in university until 10 p.m. We have many places where we can charge the phones or laptops. There are water dispensers, sofas, where you can sit or sleep, and on every floor, there are many meeting rooms. You can book online and practice in privacy. No one disturbs you. We have a shuttle bus service which works from 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. It's safe, quick and free. And it will take you to the dormitory and further. So now let's go to the dorm. So here is our international outside dormitory. And the dormitory is just 15 minutes walk from university and surrounded by supermarkets, shops, and a mosque. According to the rules of our scholarship, we have to live at least one year in the dormitory because it's a very safe place. And uh, here we have 24 hour security services. And dormitory helps you with adaption, with new culture, learning new languages like me. Just see. Здравствуйте, как вы еще дела? Хорошо. Меня зовут Зарифа, и я из Афганистана. Security. Uh, the dormitory has five floors and a basement, and this is the first one, the hall, or we can say the common zone. And the next room is computer lab, where students study. And now let's go to the basement. And here is laundry. We all have to wash our clothes. According to the rules, every floor has their own day to wash their clothes. And here's our kitchen, my favorite place where you can cook and eat and we have a refrigerator too. And from second floor to fifth floor we have living rooms. In each room there are living three residents per room and every floor has their own resident assistant which we call RA. And resident assistants are here to help organizing events and also they are there to help the residents uh, uh, in emergency situations. According to the rules, just sophomores and juniors can become an RA. In the future, you can be one of them. Thank you for your attention. And we really hope you enjoyed the video and us talking in the video. We are looking forward to see you very soon and wish you all the success in your life. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate, ask us, stay in touch and see you soon. Bye! Bye! Bye.